Perfecting your makeup while wearing sunscreen. I'm Laura Ray. Wearing sunscreen can be very problematic when you're wearing a full face of makeup. So today I want to share with you some tips. You were the inspiration for this video because recently I did a video featuring a technique that Painted by Spencer, and I will link his channel, did on his own skin. And his skin looks so beautiful, I wanted to try to replicate that on my mature skin because I'm a lot older than Spencer is. And he said he used this technique on his mature clients. So I will link my video also beneath the description of the video if you didn't see it. But what came up from your questions were this product that Spencer used, the Dialba, how would you use that if you were wearing sunscreen? Would it make the sunscreen just not work or what would you do? So I've tried several techniques that I want to share with you today. First off, I want to make sure I clearly explain what the Dialba is. Because of the oil in it, you can see it's got the oil and then the rest of the mixture. It can be deceiving thinking that this is not a setting spray. But that's one of the things that it is. It is a setting spray, which is great because that's going to make your makeup stay on and also your sunscreen because we're layering here. This is also a serum and it's known to provide this super hydration to your skin, which is great for those of us that have dry patches, flakiness from some of the tretinoin or vitamin A type products we use for anti-aging. So this product is multi-use. It is a serum, so you're going to get moisture. It's a glow product because it's going to give a lot of glow and a natural glow to your skin, but it's also a setting spray. So there's multiple ways you can use it. First, what I'm going to do is put on a tinted sunscreen that I love with the Dialba, and then I'm going to go on top of that with foundation to show you how it would look if I just wear the tinted sunscreen, which I really love this look. It's what I typically wear to work now. And then I'm going to apply a heavier foundation so you can see how it would look with that. Now, I also want to share with you that I have some brand new makeup that we're going to finish the look off with. Now, what I like to do is apply the Dialba first, like a serum, and let it dry down a little bit before I apply the Alana Mitchell. Now, this is a tinted, it's a mineral sunscreen with tint in it. Now, I have tried so many of these. Many of you suggested in the comments some that you use that just didn't work for me. I've tried some that the it was just too sheer, too much of my skin showed through. It didn't even look like I had anything on. And I've tried some that have turned me orange. This has been the best I've ever used. It actually beats my uh, La Roche-Posay that I love so much that's tinted. This gives more coverage and a more just natural look. The shade matches perfectly with my skin. So what you can do with the Dialba is just shake it up really good so it mixes. The oil mixes with the product and you could spray it directly on your face. I like having a little more control so you could spray it on a brush or you can spray it into a sponge. Now this is my stands out sponge which doesn't need to ever be wet except when you first buy it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to spray the product onto the sponge and then dab it onto the skin. Now you can instantly see the glow that I'm getting from this. It's not dried down, but this glow stays. It's so beautiful. I love this sponge because I have so much more control of how much product I'm putting on and where I'm putting it. And I'm going to go ahead and pin my hair back so it won't be in the way and let this dry down before I apply the Alana Mitchell. Now, I just want you to see how it looks on my skin. It's so hydrating. I have combination skin so that you know that there are times in the winter when it does get dry or if I'm trying a new skincare product, sometimes it gets dry. But now that I'm through menopause, it seems like the dry skin is at a minimum and I'm back more to a combination skin with an oily T-zone. 
So I think even those of you with oily skin, this was another question I got, would like this product because it really does dry down beautifully. Again, I would be strategic with it. And if you were using this, maybe you wouldn't need any other moisturizer if you have very oily skin. Now, while this is drying down, I want to share another option with you that I love. It's Paula's Choice Defense. This is her Essential Glow Moisturizer. Now, this has a 30 sunscreen in it. So if you applied this first and let it dry down some, you're getting extra protection there if that's what you're looking for. I noticed that when I did the video, a lot of people said they didn't wear sunscreen, uh, but if you do on a regular basis, it's nice to put it into the moisturizer so you get that protection. This has such a beautiful glow. I'm gonna put it on my hand here and show you, but it has a lot of luminosity to it. It's very moisturizing. It's on the thin side. It's not a thick, heavy uh, moisturizer. And I just love the way it looks on my skin. It adds a beautiful glow and it's very hydrating. Right now I can touch my skin and the Dialba, I feel a little bit extra here, but all this is pretty dried down. It's not super sticky, which is great. And if you have drier skin than mine, it's probably just gonna soak it right up. I did wanna mention I've already applied my eye makeup and on my lips, I have from Vaseline their lip therapy. I've had this a long time, I love it. It's their Color and Care Kissing Red. And it just adds a nice glow to the lips and gives a little color. It's a great way to wear red if you're not really a fan of a strong red lipstick. This sort of makes your lips look like you've had a red popsicle as opposed to something very heavy. So that's my way. I really love to wear red. Let's go in now with the Alana Mitchell. Now, what I love about this, I have very sensitive skin. This is a tinted physical uh she calls it skin care with heart, which I really like. It is a moisturizer and a sunscreen all in one. It has a 44. It's made for all skin types. And it says here, water resistant for 40 minutes. I haven't worn it in the water. Uh, and I typically don't put my face down in the water much anymore. But uh, it says water resistant for 40 minutes. And it has hyaluronic acid for hydration. I love the packaging. The, it just is so easy to use the pump. And what I love about this is you can apply it with your hands, just like this, so simple. And it sinks right in and it's buildable. So I will usually put one layer on and then go back and do a second layer if I'm using this, especially as my sunscreen. You could also use this as a primer. So say you want heavier coverage, which is what I'm going to show you today. You could apply the Alana Mitchell as a moisturizer primer all in one, which is great. You don't have to use multiple products and then put your uh, regular foundation. Today, the foundation I'm going to show you after I'm done applying this is the Catrice True Skin. It's a favorite of mine. It's very moisturizing. Now, if you have oily skin, I would not use the Catrice. I would use their HD foundation that I've shown so many times. That's a little better for staying on oily skin, but for normal to dry skin, I really like the True Skin so much. So you can see what I'm going to do is go back in those areas where I can see still some of my own skin through it. I want a little smoother coverage. I'm gonna go back and layer. This is also not sticky. Once it dries down, it just dries down so beautifully on the skin. And then what I do, I have some broken capillaries around the nose. I go back with a concealer or my powder. If I use a powder foundation that has some color and I just go into those corners. At the end, any little spots that I see, I go back. So this is the Alana Mitchell. When I am going to work, what I do is powder on top of this. I usually love to use my Fenty powder foundation and I will just go around the nose. 
hit a few areas and it just gives such a beautiful look. But I'm not going to do that today because I want to show you how it would look with foundation on top of this using this like a primer. I have found a great replacement for the Becca Under Eye Corrector. This is from Catrice. It's their Under Eye Brightener Instant Awake. I'm going to apply that first and get this area brightened before I apply any uh, foundation on. I love this stuff. It doesn't crease. Now I'm using my Huda concealer brush I talk about so much. And uh, this is so dense that it really blends out the color corrector brightener. Now this looks a bit bright right now, but we're going to leave it, put on the rest of the makeup, then I can blend it out in the end. But this really uh, makes my eyes so much brighter. And at the end of the video too, I'll share the rest of the eye products that I use today. Now let's go in with our foundation, the True Skin. I want to apply it on my glass palette so you can see the texture of it, the thinness. It's a nice thin foundation. I just love it. I've worn it for quite a while and it has a lot of hydration to it. So if you do have drier skin, I love wearing it in the winter months. And I'm just going in with my Delium Double Dome Brush to apply. And uh, that Alana Mitchell gives such a nice base for the makeup as a primer. So when if I were to do this for a look, I would not wear any other primer. I would just put that on. And again, that's got a 44 sunscreen. Now, if you feel like, how am I going to touch this up during the day? Then I would recommend a powder. The Color Science has a beautiful powder that's a little more on the pricey side. I've used that before and really enjoyed it. If you're looking for something more affordable, I would use the one from Derma E. I feel like that does just as nice of a job as the Color Science. And that's a great way to apply during the day. Plus, if you do get oily during the day, that's a wonderful way to sort of get things to look more of a satin finish and not too shiny. So I really enjoy that one. I've been getting a little sun walking just even with my sunscreen on and I'm feeling like this looks a little light now. I might have to get a deeper shade. Normally I wear neutral sand, but I think once we get the bronzer on and everything else, it'll work fine. But I do have to sort of switch up my foundation shades in the summer. And that's one reason I like this Alana Mitchell. It just seems to blend in so beautifully with my skin. I don't have to worry so much about that. So this is the look with the foundation over the D'Alba and using the Alana Mitchell as a primer and then going in with the Catrice True Skin. And I think it's such a beautiful look. I've got a much more coverage, of course, because this is a fuller coverage foundation. It's also a great replacement if you like Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is not as drying. This is much more moisturizing. So if you have oily skin, like I said, I would go with the Catrice HD foundation. That's a much drying, not a drying formula, but a drier formula. This is very hydrating. Now I'm going to add a few things. Let's go in with bronzer. I love the NYX Matte Bronzer in Light. This is just beautiful. It's the closest I found for the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer that I bought. I was trying to dupe it, and this is the best one that I've found for that. The main reason I say that is because this is so buildable. A lot of drugstore bronzers go on too heavy. I definitely would suggest also buying a lighter shade than you normally buy. I bought medium before and that just looks a little harsh. So I love that this is buildable. If I want more of it, I can just apply more because it's such a thin powder. I also like bringing the bronzer down to the neck. And then in the end, I'll go over with the stands out sponge and sort of just make sure everything is well blended. But for now, I think we're good. Let's go in with ELF's brand new Halo Glow Wands. 
They're called Beauty Wands. They have a highlighter, a blush, and a contour. So I was just bronzing my face, but I didn't really contour. And of course, Kevin Aquan is so famous for contouring. It was a very gray tone. So you're gonna see that. You can tell right away on my skin how gray looking that looks. And I'm just gonna take a brush and go up. Now the brushes I'm using, this one was sent to me by Refer. This is a Refer 18. These are so soft, these brushes. Some of you wrote me because I was asking, and I still would like to know more, if you all have ever tried Refer, how you feel about the brushes. They're very new to me. I'm gonna just contour the cheek area, but you could contour the jawline. Uh, anywhere you like to contour. I'm going to school this morning, so I don't want to wear too much contour, but I think that's good so you can see the product. Now, I bought the shade Fair Light, and I'm really glad I did because I think it looks so much more natural. If I bought the medium, it probably would have been a little much for me, especially for work. Now, this is the blush. I bought the shade Berry Radiant. I thought that was one most of you would like, and... Uh, again, you just twist up at the top and squeeze the tube. Now, I looked at Charlotte's blush because, of course, so many companies are trying to replicate Charlotte's product. And I looked because I wondered, as far as volume, how much you're getting because these tubes look significantly smaller than Charlotte's. But when I looked, it was just a tad bit less product in the e.l.f. So the Charlotte Tilbury... Uh, blushes do have more product, but of course the price is much more. Now this, when I tested it on my hand, it has a very metallic look to it. It doesn't have glitter in it, so I wanted to make that clear, but I'm going to put some on my hand here, enough for you to see. It's very metallic, so if you're not a fan of metallic, you're not going to like these but it has a look similar to Charlotte's because Charlotte's doesn't have any glitter in it either. And now let's apply the highlighter. I bought Champagne. I thought that was the most universal that most of us would order. And I'm gonna put that on and just pat it in. I do like using a brush or sponge with these rather than my fingers. I've tried it multiple ways and I sort of like going in with a brush and getting it pushed into the skin. So there's all three of the new e.l.f. wands. I'm going to finish off my look, my lips, with the Benetint, the Flora Tint. I have been loving wearing these. What I like about them is they're so long-lasting. I can put them on and they will last through coffee and talking all day in my classroom. So this has a little applicator wand. And another thing I like about the Benetton is they're not drying. Some of these long lasting lip products are very drying and they're also very thin. I am gonna put some powder on that's gonna make this last all day. This was sent to me by Ciate London. I really love this powder, it's super fine. It uh, reminds me a lot like of the Wayne Goss powder uh, we've talked about. The texture of it is super fine. And what I've been liking doing actually is a little bit of baking. I put some powder on my nose on my chin, all these oily areas that I have, and let it just sit for a minute. I also like to not put powder on the blush area. I want it to be more glowy, and this will take away some of that shine. So I just sort of go around it and into the nose and let it sit. All right, I'm gonna just dust this off a little bit get any remnants of the powder, take my hair down, and we'll be good to go. I want to just quickly share with you the makeup that I didn't tell you about. Today on my eyes, I'm wearing this Revlon palette. This is the palette called Seductive. One of you actually recommended it to me. I was talking about another palette that's a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury shade. And you said, Laura, have you tried these? And they're just so beautiful. I really enjoyed it. I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Eye Primer underneath that. 
For lashes, I'm wearing the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I love this brush. It just fits in so great. I'll have all the shades, everything in the description. If you just hit the More button, everything is there. The links are there. I do get a small commission for you shopping those links, so I really appreciate that. That's what allows me to purchase all of these products to share. I hope this was helpful and gave you some ideas about how to use sunscreen with your makeup. Again, the Derma E is great if you're wanting to reapply during the day, but I really like either having my sunscreen in the moisturizer or in a tinted sunscreen because that gives me the coverage without just applying regular sunscreen because I really enjoy wearing my makeup and I like perfecting the skin a little bit from what my skin normally is. So these types of products are super helpful. And I'm excited that I can still wear the Dialba with a sunscreen because I think this is amazing. And I love the fact that you can put something on like this and get such a beautiful glow so easily. Remember, I upload videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern. I'm so excited that you're here. I hope you'll subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. It's free. All you have to do is hit the button. And I hope that you all will have a blessed and beautiful week. I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon.